Hi everyone, it is week 13 for my pregnancy update. I can't believe that today I'm actually 14 weeks, but this is going to be an update on my 13th week, or I guess my 14th week, but week 13. I wanted to give a disclaimer that not this time, but the vlogs are going to start to get a little more TMI, too much information, because I am making these one as a record for myself, but as well as for other girls and women going through this, so that they can see what I've had and whether or not it was normal for me and compare and contrast. So if you're family members or friends or anything like that and you know me in real life and you don't want to be hearing things about my nipples or anything like that, now is probably a good time to start or to stop watching the vlogs. Uh, from now on, I wouldn't recommend watching them because I'm just going to talk about everything and anything. Uh, if you want to know how things are going, ask me in real life. Facebook me, Instagram me, email me, and I can give you the PG version of everything. And if you are family or friends and you're deciding to continue watching, unless you're a really, really good friend, I don't want to be talking about this kind of stuff face-to-face -face in real life, so just pretend that you didn't watch it. Uh, so, week 13 update. The pregnancy is going by so fast in some ways, but so slow in others. So. To think I'm only 13 weeks, it seems like, oh, I still have a long time to go when we're talking 40 weeks, I'm only a third of the way done. Hello, second trimester, that's exciting. But it still feels like it's going so slow. And then I think to myself, you know what, in seven weeks, we're halfway done. Six to seven weeks, we're halfway done. We're going to be going for our ultrasound, our anatomy scan, and halfway done already. We need to start thinking of some names. My husband's already started a list. Uh, I have not, because I'm not overly picky. I'm not as picky as he is when it comes to names, but I'll start actually marking down names that I like versus just going, oh yeah, that's a nice name, or oh, that would be a good idea. So I'm going to actually start making a list. Otherwise, it is, it's going by so fast and yet so slow at the same time. What have I got on my list today? Not really much. Nothing's really changed. I'm getting bigger. Surprise! Tends to happen when you're pregnant and you're getting this far along. I have to admit, I'm a lot smaller than I thought I would be with this being my second child. Um, I was under the impression that you grow... I'm going to tilt that up. Look more at the ceiling, not at the junk in the back. Uh, I was under the impression that you tend to show really early with your second and you tend to be quite a bit bigger. And... I do feel like maybe I'm a little bit bigger, but in comparison to what I was with my daughter, I'm not that much bigger. So here's hoping I don't put on a whole bunch of weight because I didn't lose weight this time. The only thing that I really have an update on this week that isn't TMI that I'll get into next week uh, is sore nipples. So my daughter is still nursing to the point where I don't think she's getting any milk or if she is, she's getting just a drop or two. She's not swallowing or anything like that, but she still asks to nurse three, four times in a 24-hour period. So I still nurse her, but if I hand express, I, can, I can't even get a drop to drip off the end of my nipple. It's literally just a little bit of milk on the end of my nipple. It's not colostrum, it is still definitely milk. So even at week 13, it's still milk that I'm producing, not colostrum. I'm curious as to when the colostrum is going to come in. But I'm actually going to ask the midwives if there's a golden rule that by this week the colostrum will be in or if it really just varies for each individual person. I also wanted to ask her, I don't think I mentioned this in the last video, is I know when you're nursing and you've got milk and you stop nursing for whatever reason you have a risk of mastitis, um, if that's going to happen when I'm producing colostrum and my daughter's still nursing, am I going to produce more colostrum? It, will it increase my colostrum production because she's still nursing? Or will it still just be a small amount of colostrum? And if it increases, am I at risk for mastitis if she decides one day that she doesn't want to nurse anymore or I get to the point where I can't nurse her? Uh, so we'll see. I will ask the midwives. I don't have another appointment for like two, three weeks still, so it'll be a little while. But my nipples are so sore. I thought the nursing aversion would be gone by the second trimester. I thought the nipple pain would be gone by the second trimester. And 
Really, for the last few weeks, I haven't had either of those, so I thought I was golden. But this last week, it feels like she's ripping my nipple off uh, when she latches on. And it's really only just when she latches on. As soon as she starts nursing, then it, it's gone, or it fades. It's not gone instantly. It fades really quickly to not being there at all. So I'm hoping that doesn't last, because it makes me dread and cringe with each nursing update, or with each nursing time. Um, yeah, that's, I don't have a whole lot this week because things are just kind of chugging along. I'm still definitely more hungry than I used to be. I'm having a hard time getting a lot of fluids in because I just don't have time and I don't think about having fluids all throughout the day with me. Uh, I am trying to drink more during the day and less in the evenings because I do have to go pee very badly when I wake up in the middle of the night with my daughter. But other than that, it's just hungry. Um, I can eat yogurt again. I don't know about vanilla yogurt. I haven't tried that yet, but I can eat like flavored yogurts again. I had chicken last night and that was fine. I don't have any real cravings. There's nothing that I really want. Um, but there's still things that I look at and go, I can eat them, but that, it just doesn't sound appealing. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I think that's it next week. I don't think there's anything fancy that I plan on happening or that I have planned for next week but we'll see what comes up in terms of symptoms and signs and how big I start getting because I am again every week I say this I'm starting to get bigger and it's becoming a little bit more noticeable now it's to the point where I can suck it in for very short periods of time you can I can still tell that my belly's sticking out but I'm not sticking sticking out uh, I've been told that I'm carrying really low already but really I think everybody at 13 weeks is carrying low just because the uterus is barely above your pubic bone at this point. Uh, it's just the way that my belly is shaped that it makes it look like I'm carrying very low. So I will do my belly shot. I have something different to stand on because I used the cat litter so we'll see. I'll try to make sure that you can can see. And of course, it's a twisty chair. There we go. So this is with the shirt on. I'll try not to fall. I know pregnant women standing on twisty chair is not usually a good thing. And from the other side. So if I completely relax, that's how I show. And I'll show you with my shirt up as well. Ignore the big rip in my shirt. Got that pulling my husband's bike down from our bike room today. So there we go. So how I normally stand, if I completely relax, again, I do have bad posture anyways, but my belly is very low. And it always has been. So they're straight on, relaxed, slightly sucked in, or not even sucked in, just keeping my muscle tone. So there's completely relaxed and just keeping my muscle tone, you know, proper posture. So I think that's it. No signs of any stretch marks. I haven't been using any lotion and I have, oh, I haven't been using any lotion and I haven't been drinking as much as I should be. So I'm going to really try to pick that up in terms of drinking so that I'm well hydrated. I'm well hydrated as my belly starts to grow and stretch because you want to be hydrated from the inside. Mm, I think that's it. I will talk to you guys next week for week 14. It's very exciting. I can't believe I'm in the second trimester now because I am, the. I think it's like 13 weeks and two days or 13 weeks and six days depending on who you talk to. That is uh, when you switch over to your second trimester. So regardless because today I'm 14 weeks and this is my 13 week to 13 week and 6 day update. Uh, it, it, I'm in the second trimester now. Yay, a third of the way done. That's very exciting. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.